At the end of last November, our senior greyhound, Olive, took a tumble down these stairs, tearing open the skin on her foot and exposing the bone. A few months later, she did that again to the other foot. Well, here we are at the end of the summer, and for a third time, we are at the emergency vet. So in this episode of The Great Show of Greyhounds, I have to do something about these stairs to make them safer for her. As Olive is now approaching 13 years old, she just isn't as steady on her feet as she used to be. It's not a question of if she'll fall down these stairs a fourth time, it's a question of when. So after she got hurt the last time, we began guiding her down the stairs slowly so that she wouldn't lose her footing. But as time went on, we just kind of stopped doing that. The real issue is that the edges of these stairs are just a little sharp if you're falling down them. To remedy this, I've gone to the hardware store to look for anything at all that can be used for padding to go over the edge of the stair. And I think I found it in the form of foam rubber pipe insulation. It runs about five or six dollars for a six foot length, which I can cut in half to get two three foot long pieces. The minimum width for staircases in the United States is three feet. My steps here on this deck are about three feet, four inches or 40 inches. As you can see with my air conditioner unit, the pipe insulation wraps all the way around the pipe connected to my house. I don't need that much coverage over the edge of each step, so I can cut this down the center so that I waste less material while covering more steps. This pipe insulation has an adhesive side so that when you're wrapping around a pipe, you can seal it together. That is not going to be enough to adhere it to these steps, so I'm gonna be using the staple gun instead. Well, now that we're all done, let's go get Olive and see how she does. It's been a few weeks and now we're into October and I would not really classify this as a success. The foam rubber material that the pipe insulation is made out of is just too soft and the staples are tearing right through it. I've been looking online trying to find something that's soft enough to offer padding, but tough enough so that the staples won't tear through it. On Amazon, I was able to find these traction pads. Their primary purpose is to be put down in a boat so that you don't slip and fall down. They run about $30 a square, which is 20 inches long on each side and is adhesive on the back. I'll put a link to Amazon if you think that this is something that will be beneficial for you. Now we gotta tear up all these staples because I don't want this to be a hazard that'll cut their feet. Okay, I have cut this all into strips. I'm going to adhere it to the edge of the bottom three steps. If this works out, I'll get another $30 square to put on the top three steps. In the end, I'm gonna be about $60 into this project, which is considerably cheaper than the $600 it costs to take Olive to the emergency vet a fourth time. and these are all down, we'll take a look tomorrow and see if these are all still in place. Okay, well, this didn't even last one day. I don't think the adhesive properties of this traction pad stick very well to wood. So we're gonna use the staple gun and hope that it doesn't tear through. This material, while soft, is much more dense, so I'm hopeful. Okay, now it's November and this seems to be holding up pretty well. Overall, I'm much happier with this material. It's denser so the staples are not pulling through. A few more would help to tidy this up, but overall, I'm happy with it. As a viewer, you may be wondering why I bothered to even show you my less than successful attempt with the pipe insulation instead of just showing the much higher quality, more expensive solution that I discovered. The reason is because if I had only showed the more expensive material, I think that would have encouraged a lot of you to seek out cheaper alternatives, which would have just brought you disappointment. So hopefully through my failures, you have found a greater way of succeeding. 
The next episode of The Great Show Greyhounds finds us trackside at the Iowa Greyhound Park, where we get to observe morning schooling, which is an opportunity for trainers and dogs to practice running on the track. That episode will begin my fourth season of doing The Great Show of Greyhounds and will premiere on New Year's Day. A link to that episode, as well as the previous, can be found over here. You can also watch any other episode at youtube.com slash greatshow and a link to subscribe to that YouTube channel will be here in the bottom corner of the screen. You can also follow us on social media at Great Show. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.